Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're gonna look at how to modify an existing table in Cosmos DB Cassandra. So let's say you already created your Cassandra DB following my other video on it. And now you've started developing and you realize like, oh, like I have my username, uh, my user's table, but I forgot to add last name. So you already have your test data and you don't wanna really repopulate it. So you have to modify this table. In Cosmos DB Data Explorer, you can only delete the table and create a new one, which doesn't really work when you already have some test data and stuff. So after a lot of searching, I found this, this documentation that tells you that how to update a table, you have to do it through their APIs and the own way of doing it. And it is actually wrong, it's missing like some quotes and everything. So I decided to do this quick video to show you how to do it. So first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna create your schema into a JSON file. And you can see here, it's just an array of columns that has the name and, and the type of field that you're gonna have in there. And then you have your partition keys. The first one is gonna be your actual partition key. And then anything after that in the array is gonna be a cluster key. If you wanna learn the difference about that, I'm gonna link the video where I explained that. So then after that, let's say you wanna add a last name table uh, column. So then you just add another column and you just make the type that you want and you save it. And then we have to run a PowerShell command to actually update the table. So here's the Azure, uh, the command we have to run. Before this, if you haven't logged in, you have to do az login, login with your uh, Microsoft account that has access to this Cosmos DB, and then you will have access to this. So then after this, you just do az Cosmos DB Cassandra table update, and then account name, and this is the name of your server. So if we go here, coding Flamingo test server, then keyspace name, this is the name of the keyspace that you're doing. In this case, it's video key. And then you have name, that's the table name. So in this case, it's called test table, very original, I know. And then resource group, that's Cosmos to be test. That's my resource group where this is created. So it's right here. And then the schema, this is the file where you have it saved. I'm running it from the same folder where I have it saved, but if not, you have to put the uh, full file. It's very important here to add the quotes. It can be single or double quotes and then add to tell Azure that it's a folder and then the, uh, sorry, a file and then the file name. So then we're just gonna run this. And now it tells you that the schema was updated and it tells you kind of like the new schema and the partition keys and everything. So then if we go back here and run the, the rows, you can see that you kept the data and now you have the last name that it's null. You might have to update your other ones, but you keep the data and the table is updated. So that's how you update a table in Cosmos DB. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.